Ugh. Hello, scrappers. Tonight, I'm scrapping this. This is a flusher off a toilet thing. This was in the trash at the insurance company I clean. And look how pitted, look how pitted the, uh, like the nickel plating is. It's like, I've been working there since I was 15, and this has always looked like that. And it's like, no matter how much I cleaned it, it, it still kept looking like that. And it wasn't the cleaning chemicals I used because, you know, th this thing's just like a million years old. I'm actually kind of interested to see what's in here. I've never scrapped one of these. Um, uh, channel locks. I love using channel locks for scrapping because, ready for this? You can adjust them one handed. And then you want to go back to short size. Look at that, one handed. You can adjust your channel locks one handed. I just love them. I'm just going to loosen everything here. Tidy Lucy. All right. Oh, that was pretty tight, actually. Um, this is very heavy. I'm guessing this is. That was loose. Maybe the plumbers loosened it. That was loose too. Huh. Easy for me. What's in here? Oh, that's heavy. That's brass. Hear it rings? Hear it ring? Listen. Hear out rings? That's one good way you know it's brass because they make bells and, you know, other shit out of brass. How does this attach to that? It doesn't unscrew. Let's unscrew this first, maybe. Maybe I'll have answers in here. Get this out. Get this piece of plastic out, because they're, they're dicks like this at my scrapyard. If they don't see it taken apart, they're just going to assume that. Oh, that's neat. I bet that's the problem right there. That's a that's a one-way valve. I bet that's why it was leaking. That was the problem right there. Cause look, look at the gap in that. It's supposed to be tight, and the water's not supposed to be able to press on that, and it's supposed to seal. That's what I'm guessing. Lots of nice brass. See once again. Listen. Here it rings. You can always tell brass, because brass rings like that. How does the rest of this come apart? I wonder if I got a... That's it, right there. Oh, uh, that's fresh water. Why, why is it panicking? Panicking like it was pee water or something. That comes out. More plastic. Oh, this piece is heavy too. No, nope, magma sticks to it. So that's going to the tin bucket. Magma don't stick to any of that, any of this. What's in here? That's brass. That's plastic. Well, it held its shape. Is that tin? No, nope, that's plastic. And like I said, not all scrap yards are that nice. My scrap yard can be a jerk. That's all brass. That's all very heavy. What's in this guy? Oh, that's 10. That's 10 too. That was pretty easy. Got a couple pieces of 10 for the old 10 pail. Lots of brass. This is heavy. This is very heavy. There's like five pounds here. Uh, maybe six or seven pounds. This is pretty heavy. That's a pretty good score. Some brass for the old brass bucket. And a bunch of uh, plastic and rubber and stuff to throw away. So hey, that was easy. Couple minutes worth of work. Make a couple bucks. So uh, just remember guys, scrap is everywhere. All you gotta do is find it, sort it, and hoard it. So thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.